inviting a very special guest tonight to introduce our class of 2014. It is my privilege to welcome him. Brian McGowan is a graduate of Unachievable Dreams, first graduating class in 2001, which makes him a Frank and Marie Butman scholar. After he graduated from our program, he attended Old Dominion University, where he earned a music, a music education degree. He then went on to Ohio State University, where he earned a master's in higher education and student affairs. Brian then continued his education at Indiana University, where he recently completed his PhD. In higher education and student affairs. He is now an assistant professor at Indiana State University. But oh, wait, it gets better. His research primarily focuses on race and gender in higher education with an emphasis on college access and achievement for African American males. Please help me welcome back to Virginia, Dr. Brian McGowan. Thank you. Wow, so good to be back. Hello, an achievable dream. First and foremost, I want to thank Lee Vreeland and Kathy Edwards for granting me this opportunity. I also want to thank each and every one of you for being here tonight and supporting a great cause. I am humbled and honored to stand before you today as a member of the an achievable dream class of 2001 a Frank and Marie Blackman scholar, a professor, a colleague, and a friend. When sharing my story, I often tell people that it takes a village to be successful. My village includes family, friends, mentors, church members, school teachers, principals, and college professors. And it is nice to see members of my village in this room tonight. I would not be here if it were not for the positive seeds that you have sown into my life. Briefly, I would like to spend some time this evening discussing three critical moments that positively influenced my development. This involves reflecting on individuals who are in my village. As many of you know, I grew up in a community where the odds were stacked against me, one where everyone pretty much looked like me. Despite being above average student academically, I had trouble interacting with peers who did not look like me, resulting in many physical altercations. My principal at that time, Ms. Barbara Goldstein, believed in me and signed me up for the Inachievable Dream program instead of an alternative school, and her decision ultimately changed my life. The next critical moment involves a tradition ingrained in every young dreamer who entered the program, the banners. The Achievable Dream staff members made us recite the banners every morning, every single morning. <laughs> Messages conveyed in the banners became a living document that guides my actions and behaviors. The banner that resonated with me the most is nothing was ever achieved without enthusiasm. The third critical moment was attending college. I found myself enjoying undergraduate leadership experiences on the campus. It was at that moment where I sought out a mentor who took me under his wing and encouraged me to pursue my dream of devoting my life to helping college students. As a result, as previously mentioned, I went to The Ohio State University to pursue a master's degree in higher ed and student affairs with a 3.74 GPA, worked at Rutgers University where I worked with organizations to improve the experiences of black males in college, and earned a PhD from Indiana University this past July with a 3.94 GPA. I am not saying these 
things to brag about my accomplishments. I am sharing them to help us move beyond deficit perspectives that are constantly reinforced in media and educational practice. The emphasis on failure and low-performing black male students must be counterbalanced with insights gathered from those who somehow manage to persist despite all the odds that are stacked against them. I look forward to the day where this story can be the norm and not an outlier. Sponsors, continue to make a difference in the lives of students like me. It is your contributions that play a vital role in producing high achieving students who will be contributing members of our society. I constantly reflect on these three words from the late Mr. Siegeloff. I believe in you. He shook my hand most mornings as a kid. He had a really big hand. <laughs> he looked me square into the eye and said that he believed in me. Folks, it is clear that in a, the In Achievable Dream program is working and makes dreams come true. Despite growing up in the projects and overcoming adverse situations, my team believed in me and saw my potential. All it takes is for someone to open that door. And doors have been opened to me that my family could not even imagine. College tours as a kid, traveling and presenting research across the country, and study abroad experiences in Edinburgh, Scotland, and Tokyo, Japan, among others. Members of the class of 2014, you are heirs to a great legacy. You have within you that same courage and same strength as the dreamers who, have, who came before you. Success may not come quickly or easily, but if you strive to do what is right, if you work harder and dream bigger, if you continue to abide by the messages and the banners and surround yourself with a good team, I am confident together we will continue achieving the dream. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce the Inachievable Dream Class of 2014.